Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about introverted sensation, the cognitive function that Carl Jung mucked up. Yep, you're right. I did say it. He mucked it up. He totally mucked it up. If you read Jung's psychological types, if you investigate what he writes about the introverted sensing type, you will find someone who sounds like they ought to be in a lunatic asylum. And that's not entirely surprising, given that Carl Jung put together his understanding of the psychological types from observing people who had various kinds of mental and psychological illness. So, yes, as I said before, Carl Jung was the originator of the idea of psychological types. He was not the master of it. In the same way, Homo habilis was the first of the hominids, we believe, to start using tools. They certainly are no match for Homo sapiens sapiens and our rocket ships and our nanotechnology and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, Carl Jung can get things wrong. Of course he can. Everyone can. Everyone who starts off a, a certain field or theory is going to get a whole load of stuff wrong. And their contribution is to first go poking in that area and start trying to figure things out. They're not the finished article. And people give so much reverence to Carl Jung. And yes, he deserves a lot of reverence. He came up with amazing ideas. But psychological types is a particular part which was very experimental, very much him covering Terra Nova, new ideas. And of course, he's going to make mistakes as everyone would. So... When it comes to this mistake, what is the mistake that Carl Jung made in terms of introverted sense? Well, it all goes back to what I was talking about before in the extroverted sens uh, sensation video about external, internal, as opposed to extroverted, introverted. Carl Jung set out extroverted as being someone who has an orientation towards the object and introverted as someone who has an orientation towards the subject, the person itself. The idea being that... If it's the object, it's outside of yourself. You are essentially adapting to the reality of that thing. Whereas if it's introverted, it's your personal approach to that. It's what you hold within yourself about that thing. So it's, if you see me describe it, it sounds quite vague. Because it is vague. It's an, actually a jumbling together of different concepts, which Jung didn't really pick out and make distinct. Socionics did. Socionics actually realised that this is actually a whole bundle of different ideas and separated them out into external and internal and still extroverted, introverted being something slightly different. So, yeah, let's talk about um, introverted sensation. What should it be really? Well, it, I'll tell you first of all what it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be, as Jung describes, this almost psychotic, internalised sense of how things really are, which makes you incapable of actually adapting to the real world. No, that's not right. You don't encounter many people like that. When you encounter people who, who are largely agreed to be ISTJs and ISFJs, they don't come across that way either. It's just false. That's not how it is. That is someone with some kind of psychosis, not a, a normal person. OK, so let's put that to one side. Now, other ideas of, of introverted sensation that are not accurate. Um, this focus on tradition, this idea that someone who's introverted sensation oriented is all about what used to be, what was in the past, and they're suddenly scared by things changing. This, again, is not accurate. This whole idea of introverted sensation being in the past is also wrong. This idea that you have to tie cognitive functions to parts in the time stream is not really right. It's not, it, 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 it isn't accurate. Again, this idea of introversation not being, right, what it is not, it is not memory. Again, tied to the idea of the past, tied to this idea of tradition and being a stick in the mud and not being able to adapt to new things. No. It's not about memory. We all have memories. I mem remember things absolutely fine, as long as they are largely factual and largely conceptual. I don't have a good memory for little details, right? But I do have a memory. And 
everyone has a memory unless you have some sort of short-term memory loss problem something like that everyone remembers different things introvert sensation types remember things as well as extrovert intuition types and e and extroverted thinking types and entj which according to four type theorists which i don't think is right who believe that they therefore don't have introvert sensation if you're an entj or an enfj right they still have memory you can't work out an ENFJ or an ENTJ by testing their memory and find they don't have a good memory. That That's not a thing. That, that is not accurate. That's not right. So, no. Instead, let's talk about introverted sensation in terms of what it is. Because the way I've seen introverted sensation described makes it out to be so boring. It's sort of maps of of um of process in terms of how you are meant to do things and if you don't change it, don't if you change it slightly, it's all terribly wrong and all terrible and awful. No. Introverted sensation, right? Let's look at the dichotomies making it up. This is how you get to an accurate understanding, right? I talked about an extroverted sensation video about what a perception is and what sensation is, right? So introverted sensation is sensation. It is a kind of sensation like extroverted sensation, which means it shares um, all the facets of sensation with extroverted sensation. So it is also external not internal, despite being introverted sensation, it's still external. Keep really focus on that idea in your mind. Introverted sensation is external. Why? Because all sensation is external, right? And also it's involved, right? That means, right? That means introverted sensation is not somewhere off in the past. It's not some memory of how things used to be. No, it is external. So it has to be directly shareable in the same way extroverted sensation is directly shareable. So introverted sensation is looking at this. It's looking in front of you. It's looking at me. It's looking at my fat face again, right? But the difference between introverted sensation and extroverted sensation, it's not what it's looking at. It is how it is approaching what is being looked at. That is the key difference between introverted sensation and extroverted sensation. Two different attitudes towards the same thing, which is sensation. Right. So, how do we articulate those differences? Well, first of all, sensation, when it's introverted, introverted sensation, I like to call it senses, right? Senses as opposed to force, extroverted sensation, right? First of all, it's introverted. So what does introversion mean in this context? Okay. Introvert sensation versus extrovert sensation. I talk about extrovert sensation being very accumulative. Oh, I want this stuff. I want to take this stuff. I want to, you know, have huge tracts of land. I want to, you know, push people out of my way because I'm taking everything. I'm, I'm going for it. I'm the hungry, ambitious one. I'm going to be able to turn people's toes. Introvert sensation just has no interest in that. Extrovert sensation is about getting the big mansion, like having the big money, all the rest. Introvert sensation is comfortable with a cozy cottage. Why is it comfortable with a cozy cottage? Because it's not accumulating. It's refining. All introversion has something to do with refining the quality rather than expanding the quantity. And so for introvert sensation, less is more. Less is really more for this sort of type, these types, introvert sensation types. So these are the types which are about refining and balancing and harmonizing the sensory experiences. That is the key difference. And the other part, dynamic as opposed to static. We talk about static, distinct objects. This idea, when you look at these remote controls, they're distinct, they're separate. That is extrovert sensation. They're just separate objects. Introvert sensation is looking at it in a whole different way. It's taking a holistic approach to sensation. Dynamic, why? Because every part is continuously flowing into every other part. There aren't distinct objects. There is simply a harmony. There is an atmosphere, and we are all objects within that atmosphere contributing to that atmosphere. That is the point for introverted sensation. So it's not about um, a, me a memory of the past. It is actually about being in the present moment, experiencing the calm, the flow, the organic pace of nature as it is. And rather than with extrovert sensation, impacting on things, being just another object against other objects. No. Introvert sensation is about how can all these different objects be refined and balanced in the perfect harmonized way so that this is a comfortable experience. This is a nice experience. This is 
a good quality, conveniently flowing experience. That's the idea. It's not necessarily about comfort, not necessarily about um, pleasure either. It can be pleasure if it's more of an emotional approach to it. But really, it's about flow and harmony of those processes, quality of those processes. That's the idea. And that is a whole new rich and and a nuanced way of approaching sensation. So basically you've got two different approaches here. You've got extra sensation, a sort of the more Donald Trump sort of figure, but then you've got the Winnie the Pooh understanding sensation, creating, uh, creating these very pleasant, very harmonized aesthetic experiences, refining them down, getting rid of interruptions and things which are likely to become stressful and discordant and cacophonous, harmonizing or creating those fine balances that is introverted sensation. And when you look at people introverted sensation oriented, these are the ones who are going to be very down to earth. These are the ones who aren't about going off and striving to accomplish more things in terms of taking more stuff. No, it's about being at peace, finding that peace in the moment. It's about being comfortable with what you have. It's about um, essentially... Just, just being present and maintaining your space, maintaining yourself, maintaining your health. It is about being aware, for instance, of when your body is out of kilter, when the environment around you is out of kilter, when things are ugly or unpleasant or impinging on that balance, and then doing what is needed to maintain and restore that balance. To, if you're feeling, you know, you want to get out, get some fresh air, go up and get some fresh air. If you're feeling tired, get some sleep. If you're feeling hungry, eat a bagel. That is introverted sensation. Being aware of how to maintain that balance in all its fineness, in all its either beauty or flow or harmony and that organic pace. And people who are introverted sensation oriented tend to gravitate towards that sort of natural flow of processes, whether that's the study of nature, whether that is, it can be in... Um, it can be in machinery as well, but it's about the quality and the finesse and the smooth curves of the machinery. It's about seeing something of aesthetic beauty or, or functionality coming together in that kind of, um, well, balanced and harmonized way. So that is introverted sensation, not memory. Yes, these types do tend to have very detailed memories because these are types who are oriented towards how to refine and balance the details. But it's not memory itself. It is rather when they remember it tends to be more detail oriented rather than, say, ideas oriented. So, yeah, that's introverted sensation. That is senses. Thank you, everyone. I will be covering others soon.